Hey, Richard Knutson here again, and uh, welcome back to another edition of the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag. Now, in this little session, I thought what I'd do is I'd use a, a question by an email that I got from David Challoner on a uh, blog post that I put up a while back on uh, the Dynamic CRM Trick Bag on many-to-many -many relationships. And David asks, uh, after making a lovely compliment on my blog, about um, this issue with many-to-many -many relationships having to do with advanced find. It's basically if you can create many-to-many -many relationships and enter the data, how do you do reporting on it? How do you use advanced find to, to uh, see what's there, see what's been defined as many-to-many? Uh, -many? He says, I know I can query and code using linked entities and using the IDs of respect to entities. Detail isn't available on advanced find and feels somewhat overlooked. Well, David, thanks for your question and um, I'll uh, show you how to do that. So here's what I did. If you uh, are new to this, I'll quickly show you how you can create a many-to-many -many relationship in Dynamic CRM 4.0. Um, and uh, the one that I have, I created a many-to-many -many relationship just after getting David's question. I've been meaning to do this for a while, so I use it as an excuse to get some work done as well. Um, I created a many-to-many -many relationship from contact to a custom entity I created called interest areas. Here's the many-to-many -many relationships in the contacts customization area. So you can see I've got a simple many-to-many -many relationship from contacts to interest areas. I just clicked new many-to-many -many and created that. Use pretty much the default options there. I could create it from either place. Let me show you what the interest areas custom entity looks like. It's pretty simple. It just has text fields, really just one text field that I use of uh, things that um, at least I hope some of my customers are interested in. Um, certifications, CRM, SharePoint, things like that. So let's go to David's record and see how this works in practice. So I'll pop open David's contact record and I will click on the interest areas in the details section here so that many-to-many -many is exposed both from the interest areas form and from the contact form as you see here and for David I will add an existing area presumably he's interested in dynamic CRM you could add more than one that's what makes it a many-to-many -many. see that there okay so now he's tagged so now I can um, find out of all my contacts which of them have been tagged as interested in those different interest areas by going to advanced find and using this approach. So I'm going to select not a field from the contacts entity, but I want to use a related entity. And in particular, if you've got a many to many relationship, you will see the entity to which you have a many-to-many -many exposed down here in the re related entity. So I choose interest areas here. I'm going to effectively drill through interest areas and I'll go down and select the interest area. So interest area equals, I usually just tab here because it's quicker. Then I'm going to go look up the different interest areas I have. Here's dynamic CRM. Select, I could select more than one if I wanted to. And I click find and sure enough there's David Challoner. Now I only just added this custom entity in the uh, many-to-many -many relationship a few minutes ago. So these are just some records that I've uh, just tagged in the meantime just to verify that it's worked and show, show how this works. Um, hopefully I do have more contacts in my CRM that are interested in Dynamics CRM than this. Uh, but anyway, so uh, David, I hope you find that helpful. That's how you do it. Thanks for your question and thanks for the excuse to uh, get some work done that I've been meaning to do for a while.